So ChatGPT has got a great feature called memory where it can have a record of all sorts of information about your business, perhaps the marketing side of your business, the financial side, information what's on your website, your brand colors, literally anything about your business at all. And usefully, you can also get it to retain information in terms of how you want content curated. So you can specify a particular style, for example. So what we're going to do is just give an example here. So I'm just going to say, please note not to use colons in headings. So it's kind of like a typical habit of AI tools, including ChatGPT, to, to do that. So I'm going to um, ask it to do that. And it is noted that you can see it says memory updated. I can hover over that and it says JP prefers not to use colons in headings. And it's confirmed that in text there as well. So if you want to know the information that it already holds, you want to extract that information. So you can just do that by saying something like, uh, please tell me everything that everything well just everything you uh have in your memory about nilc.co.uk so just going to uh fire that off and it's come back with key objectives training and support provided with you uh, all the basic as it says it all information based on previous conversations and yeah great stuff uh here so nice little um summary uh there on the information it holds on the nlc website in the memory of chat gpt so the crucial thing here is that if it's for example something you want to extract you can just pull out that information if you want to create content in a particular style then you don't have to specify that all the time because chat gpt will have stored that information in its memory if you want to get more information you want all the information that chat gpt stores then um, there's going to be quite a lot i think um so what i'm going to say is please uh tell me everything that you have stored in your memory so just going to fire that off and then we'll now get a, a long uh, list full list here so it's got personal information about me and then be a whole bunch of uh, business stuff probably quite a bit about uh, running as uh, well there we go we've got tone preference communication uh, preference uh, some particular things there to use the English CV rather than uh, resume. Uh, also, notes that it likes uh, kilometres rather than miles for uh, for for running. Uh, that stuff about projects there, training clients. Uh, so plenty of information coming through, and it continues to uh, to go down here. And now we're getting into the uh, personal stuff um, here. So uh, lots of great information that it has uh, recorded. Sometimes it'll even pick up information from conversations where you, you haven't actually specifically asked it to remember, but that is very, very useful indeed. And you can see that uh, I've got some sort of goals and themes here about a novel that I've started to uh, to write. Even my brand colors look, it's uh, come in, which is handy reference uh, material there. And uh, coming back with uh, all my contact information there. Really useful, uh, valuable information that it is displayed with just me asking. So another way of seeing what information is held and to some degree managing it so you can't edit it but you can delete it is to go into the settings. So just going to click on the profile icon here, go to settings and if I go to personalization you'll see that we have memory. So to switch it on it needs to be toggled and we know that it's switched on because I've already been using it actually gives a few sort of helpful examples of the sort of things that you can ask it to retain. So remember that I like concise responses. So that's around content creation. I've just got a puppy, some factual information. This is the one that I just used there to ask it for its full list of uh, memories about me. And where do we leave off my last project? So you can literally use it as, a, as an aid memoir for information as you are working with your tasks and your projects. In terms of managing it in the settings, you can click this button here. And as I mentioned, you can't actually edit any of these individual 
items in the memory but you can delete you can see there's a, a trash can here so that's nice and easy to do and if you want to completely wipe the slate you can do that by clearing chat gpt's memory there so uh, that's it really really handy useful feature memory which you can use in conjunction with custom instructions here now custom instructions i've already uh, done a video around uh, that and we'll be doing an updated one soon but just have a quick look here this is custom instructions where again you are personalizing chat gpt so that's uh, memory a great useful feature hope you enjoyed the video